what is uh, uh, what we are, are, are about to talk about is uh, concerning matters concerning travel and tourism and not just that but specifically photography today I want to, to uh, i am with uh, peter njoroge he is a travel photographer karibu sana peter thank you salama Thank you so much for coming. And of course, today we want to talk about matters, uh, uh, about what he does and uh, how he managed to juggle a few things. We, sh we shall let you know about those particular aspects as we continue. But uh, uh, here we want to talk about travel tourism. We want to talk about matters concerning uh, photography and of course what he does. I would like to state that he is also a student. So interestingly, he has managed to do all of this at the same time. I know there is a student watching us today, you know, and, and you keep on telling yourself, you know what, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. He has done something, and of course, he has a story to inspire you. The hashtag, as always, is why in the morning at Ram Aguko and at Y254 Channel is where you can be able to engage with us. We value your feedback. Let us know where you're watching us from as you keep on telling us your thoughts on this conversation. So, Peter. Um, let me start with uh, finding out um, more about what you do. For somebody who is watching you for the very first time, yeah. um, uh, tell us something a bit more about, about yourself and, of course, where people can be able to engage with you on social media when you're done with that. Yeah. Uh, Peter Njeroge is a 21-year-old person. Mm -hmm. um, I do more of uh, travel photography. Mm. Um, and uh, tour guiding services mm -hmm. because uh, at school I did uh, I did a diploma in travel tourism and business studies mm -hmm. but uh, in the course of my studies I came to realize I could do photography and combine both my career and my passion so you did a diploma in I did diploma in travel tourism in travel studies. tourism and business yes okay but okay. I I had a passion in photography. In photography. So I saw, uh -huh. I, I, I really had to combine. You, you, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes. uh-huh. And uh -huh. did it work. Yes. Did it work? Yes. Of course it did. Of, <laughs> it did. of course it did. it did. I'm looking at how you've managed to um, juggle all, all of these things. Have you graduated? Yeah, I'm about to graduate this year. This year? Yes. You only... Ah, you did at NIBS? Yes. Still on the tourism? Yes, on tourism now. Tourism? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So you decided to take photography as a business? Yes, exactly. Uh, while still a student? Yes. You I said, was doing photography when I was still back at school. It's same school, NIBS? Yes, same school. But mm. tourism was the course that I was taking. Mm -hmm. But you know photography was a passion. You get Mm. So I was doing photography for passion, just taking my friends' pictures. And later on, I came to realize. Later on, I came to realize that mm. it was something that could take me somewhere when I combine both of them together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now I, I'm looking at the aspect of uh, of, of what you, you 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 did. You're saying tourism, but business studies does where did uh, uh, that's business? The, that's the whole course. That's the whole course. Yes, business studies. Yes, the whole course. Tourism the whole and course. business studies. Yes, diploma in travel, tourism, and business studies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. And uh, and and uh, um, I, I would like you to let me know about this. Mm -hmm. When you started mm -hmm. this particular aspect of, uh, of, of tourism and, and uh, photography, um, how did you start? For many students, they say that, you know what, uh, starting is always a problem. Uh, how can I get the capital that I need? I, I don't have money. Starting is always a problem for so many people mm -hmm. to the point that they actually end up not even starting in the first place. Yeah, sure. You know, people take years to, to, yeah, sure. to start. Yeah. Uh, how did you do it? How did you manage to, to, to pick it up? So let me start from uh, maybe how I first got, how I got my first gadget, mm. you know. But uh, I believe you, someone need to start with whatever you have. So even the phones that we have, you can just start with that. You know, you don't okay. have to have big gadgets for you to start what you, what you want to do. Yeah, it so, seems as squeezy. Uh, yeah, as they are just very, okay. They're very you know? powerful. Eh? So I used to take very nice photos of my friends and uh, with the time I came to realize I can perfect on this. So you like, were using a phone or... Uh, yeah, 
I started with phone, you know, just uh, taking some pictures of my friends on a combi, hey, let me pause, you just take photos. Mm -hmm. But with time, I had, uh, I had a friend, I had a friend who was in the UK and he was mm. coming to visit mm. in Kenya. Mm. So he noticed that. And what uh, you're doing? Yes. He where, noticed where did he, he not notice them? Where, where he's, you he's a friend from here. He's a family friend from Kenya. Mm -hmm. So he realized that and uh, he brought me a small camera. That is what I started with. So what are you doing with these photographs that you are taking? I was just taking pictures of my friends and uh, for some little cash, you know. Mm. So maybe someone has, uh, they want to update their status and they need something to post. You, yeah. know? you just take a hundred bob and it's okay for the day. When you're a student, you get some small cash and A hundred survive. shillings? Yes. How many photos are, or, 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 were you taking with, taking with the 100 shillings? Uh, say four. Four. I was charging 25 shillings a photo. A photo. By then. And, 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 and you print or that's so soft no, copy? No, soft copy. I just take a photo of you and then take to my laptop and then share it to you directly. Even no editing. That time I wasn't, I didn't even have knowledge of editing. I didn't even have knowledge of these editing apps. Mm. Yes. Uh, and uh, there's something I forgot to ask you. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I mentioned it earlier on. Where, uh, where are you on social media? Uh, so, so that as people, as we continue, okay. mm -hmm. take a, uh, you can check him out on uh, social media. Yeah. So I look there. Yeah, yeah. So you can find me on Instagram at uh, Peter underscore Kings zero zero one. Yes. Peter. So check him out, uh, Peter Peter underscore kings zero zero one yes. i'm looking at your page and i'm seeing you're you're already doing a very fantastic job thank you the first photos and i'm i'm comparing the very first ones and the and, and the, the most recent, recent ones <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a journey it's quite a journey yeah sure when you look at at yourself back then uh -huh. what are some of the pointers that you, you know you th that you managed to pick out those lessons that you learned along the way uh, first of all, I would say personal discipline comes hand in hand with what you, with what you want to achieve. Like mm -hmm. you have to understand that whatever you do today counts. Like mm -hmm. you have you have to stay focused on what you're doing because everything counts. Because all of us we are looking at having a brighter future. Mm -hmm. So you have to ask yourself, what I'm doing today is it contributing to the person that I want to be? in the future. Mm -hmm. So you have to work smart and uh, motivate yourself to do better every day. Were well, there are those times that you are you know, a bit lazy? You know, you like, yeah, you know, sometimes you stay in the house and ask yourself, are you doing the most of you? Mm -hmm. You ask yourself, like, uh, maybe sometimes you have even done work for the day mm -hmm. and you are at home, done finishing, done editing and you're just, it is your day to relax but you still feel you're not doing the best. So if if you have that feeling in you, it helps you do better and work mm -hmm. harder every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, enjoy that, 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 that you check him out. And of course, that's on his page, Peter underscore Kins 001. Yeah. That's on IG. Yes. All right. Where you, you have, I'm seeing most of your photos. This is uh, you. Yeah, that was uh, back in college. <laughs> first semester, by the way. The first semester? Yes, I was There's starting. a very interesting photo of this guy, <laughs> and uh, he looks so... Um... <laughs> He's not so many guys. He was young. Yeah. Because with those, those shades. Yeah. This is a friend of mine took, took me that photo. With a phone, I believe. No, it was uh, a camera, an icon camera. Huh. Yes. It was a camera. He's a very good friend of mine. I'll go and pick a picture of Bure when I was back at school. Bure? Yes. So, okay. What about the, the camera that you got from this friend who supported you? Now, with that camera, um, I started marketing. Mm. You know, when in every business that you do, you have to market yourself. And mostly, I'd say, market yourself to the strangers, people who don't know you. Because uh, they are the people who are going to bring business to you. So mm. I started, I, 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 I had even created a brand before. I had created Peter King's photography back in uh, 2017. I just went to the social, social media and Nikangalia, some of the, you see the posters. Mm. I started, I created a logo back then. Uh -huh. Funny enough, I didn't know I would come to do photography back. But, but that was only in high school? Yes. I didn't know. Mm. I just created um i just created a logo 
and left it on my phone. But I'm not seeing the logo now. Is, is no, is it, it, it wasn't. I didn't, I didn't put it on, the, on my Instagram, ah. but I just made it and put it on my gallery. It was just there. Do you intend to use it in the future? Yes. Um, will, will, you, will you make a new one? I just made it, mm. but when I started photography, I started using it. Uh -huh. I started watermarking. There's a brand you wanted to yes, create. Yes, there's a brand I wanted to create back then. But you know, I didn't have the closure of water, exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. So I just, I saw someone, I, there's a video I saw on how to create, how to create logos. So I just went and made that one and put it on my, I just saved it. Wow. Yeah. So later on is when I came to, to start using it. But then, now, like how that. did you start marketing, marketing yourself after you got now your just, first camera? Just from my students, my fellow classmates. So you see, girls love photos. Yeah, they do. I, they do. Girls love photos. They do. So now I used to carry my camera to school. Mm. You talk. Uh, I used to talk to the guys at the gate so that they could allow me to. Mm -hmm. to bring it in. Yeah, because entering is always yes. an issue. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. they used to allow me. And uh, I also had friends who were doing journalism. So I used to lend the camera to them so that they can use it for practice and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in the process, maybe after class, I used to take some, some few photos of friends. Mm -hmm. So with that, they also used to sell me to other friends. Yeah, they always yeah. recommend you to others because yeah. you know, uh, you know, you, you took a good photo of yes. them and they, so they upload it on their status. Exactly. So th their friends ask, who took you this photo? They say, Peter, okay, tell him I want a photo. Just like that. And the brand grew just mm -hmm. step by step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were uploading it on their yes. own account? Yes, but mostly, mostly on, the, on their status, on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp that is where yeah, it yeah. all started, mm -hmm. yes. So after that, um, I came to get hold of another camera that helped me get into the real business. Apart from now the students, I started working with the tour operators. Mm -hmm. And yes. this is how you started now your journey of travel yes. photography. Yes. Now when I finished school, mm -hmm. that is when I realized that uh, because I've done photography, because I love doing photography, mm -hmm. and at school I have done tourism, I need to combine both. Okay. Yes. Okay. How did you come up with this idea again? <laughs> 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 you know, it's See, just every, everybody is. You know, you know, in campus people think of going to clubs, drinking, partying. Yeah, sure. You're thinking of a, for photography business. Yes. Yes. I'd say I was. Uh, I wasn't the the party guy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I would. I would just go to a friend. I realize maybe you, you have movies or series. I just come with my flash disk. I carry all of them. You go home. You go home and watch. That is what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel you. And it really saved me. Ah, yes, big time. I, because now you have moments, personal moments, where you now think about what you want to do with yourself. Yes, and that's exactly. how you come up with ideas. Exactly. Like the moment where we are going to finish school and my classmates are happy they are finishing school but myself i'm seated back there asking myself what's going to happen next what next after school what next i can't go back to the village mm. i need to stay around and do something a question many students don't ask themselves yeah something of marriage by the way mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we were a class of around uh, 38 Mm -hmm. 38, uh, yeah, I guess 38, around 12 boys and uh, all the rest were girls. By mm -hmm. the time we were coming to finish, mm. we final were, year? Yes. Mm. We were just two, two boys in the class. My goodness. And surprisingly, this guy we just met. You see, I, I, this is where I come to understand that mm. the friends that you choose when you're in college. Very important. Very important. Because no, no we use who is in your circle. Yes, you have to choose your circle very wisely because it determines the kind of person you're going to be. This guy used to motivate me because he was, uh, we used to compete, you know. Mm. We used to stay together, always. 
we used to do those exams whereby you you could uh, revise the whole night because we were doing ICM. What was that? Um, these exams, we used to book them. You book three months, you wait for the exam ah, for three months, right, and then right. now you do the exam, mm -hmm. and then the exams are sent to the UK for marking, and yeah. then now you wait for you wait for three months for the results to come. Uh -huh, so uh -huh, it w uh -huh. there were very important exams that if you fail that exam, it could really cost you. Because you'll have to wait for another, I don't know how many months Three again. Three months, yes. And then, and then there's a fresh payment. That yes, is paid exactly. Up. You had to pay £32 for the exam. And you see, most of the time we are doing a, like two exams mm -hmm, at the mm -hmm. end of every semester. So you can imagine parents sending you £32 and then you play with the exam. <laughs> you play around with it. And then yeah. you fail and then you have to, yes. to retake it again. We used to revise the whole night. The night before the exam. We used to stay a week. Now you're graduating. And study for the exam. Yeah. Which month? Uh, they are yet to announce the dates. They had said we are going to graduate last month on 20th, but the dates mm. were postponed. So they again, said uh, in around two or three months, mm. the graduation dates are going Invite to me, I'll come. I'll attend. You'll I'll attend. Me mean I'll, you're I'll you're welcome. <coughs> yes. Sharing you there. <laughs> <laughs> But now Peter is uh, doing travel photography. Yeah, sure. So now, how did you um, start this aspect of tra travel photography? Because uh, you, you said you, you, you now conceptualized the idea uh, while in school. Yes. Yeah. So now, um, I, finished, uh, I finished all my exams in uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. 2020 December, Habo. So you remember, as I had told you, you had to eat. You had to wait for three. You had to wait for three months. Three months for the exams to come. Mm. But now uh, you're done with school, and uh, the corona that time, corona that time had hit the country very hard. Yeah. So every tour firm that you approach for even attachment, they tell you we we are even say we are even sending our own employees at home. Mm -hmm. So it was really tough. Yeah. But um, I got a chance mm -hmm. at uh, my sister's workplace. She lives here in Nairobi, and uh, that is when now I started building myself. But the work that I was doing there was not anything to do with the tourism or photography. Mm. It's, it was more of, uh, more of uh, selling electronics. Mm -hmm. But you see, at that moment, that was a chance that I really needed because if I couldn't get that, that chance, I would go back home. So I knew by the time I planned myself, by the time... Corona is, uh, the rates are going at least lower. Mm. I would mm. have built myself so that if I approach these two companies again, mm. at least I'll have something to show them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. So back in school, my course, my course had, had, as in, uh, had some, some things that I could do containing the same course. You see, it is mm. tourism and business studies. So I would do, so my lecturer used to tell me, because I was, a, we were friendly with the one lecturer called uh, Mr. Moki mm -hmm. at school. So Big he, up to him, man. Yeah. Mm. He's a very nice teacher. He motivated most of us to do better. My, do you know, it is a lecturer that motivated me to want to be a presenter. But yeah. Sorry for another day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, so so now he gave you the... Idea? So yes. He was telling me, mm. uh, Peter, you know this course pertains a lot. Mm. So uh, with this, if you get these certificates, you can work as a tour operator. Mm -hmm. You can work as a hotel representative. You can work as a front office. You see? You mm. can work as a tour guide. So I kept those four points in mind. Yeah. I they kept, kept on running through yes. your head, you know. So I knew... When I was still working at my sister's place, mm. I knew by the time the corona rate is reducing, mm. by the time the country is opening up again, by the time the country is opening up again, I'll, I'll be able to convince the tour operators or mm -hmm. anyone in the tourism industry mm. to give me a chance. Okay. So okay. what I did, I started with uh, applying for passport. Because if you are told to work as a hotel representative, and you get a chance in a foreign country, you need a passport. So, so you went for a passport first. So I went for a passport first. Clever, clever, clever move. Yes. Uh, I wanted to ask you about that. <laughs> clever so move. Uh -huh. I went for a passport first. Mm -hmm. 
again uh, if you want uh, to work as a as a front office as a front office uh, person you can't just go to the employee and tell them i can i can work with computer as well you need papers mm -hmm. so i went to do the computer packages again mm -hmm. i got that certificate mm -hmm. and kept it so as a tour guide and a tour driver you need a driver's license i went to school to learn driving and all these things you're, you, you, you you are doing these things to build up yes. yourself yes you bring one here one here yes. and another here you buy time <laughs> but pole pole too kujipanga tu pole pole because you know if you don't do it it's going to get messy so you got all those all those things set up yes within uh, within a period of uh, 8 months i managed to do everything mm -hmm. yes and now you how how did you now, now get to, to, to the journey the journey of tourism and photography started now when all my papers all my results had come now the the, the one you did for the the one i did from school all my results now. yes ilia mizi tatu okay. sasa zote zilikuwa zishakuja and the school now naona niko kazi and uh, most of my friends washaanza kuenda attachment you see mm. mimi sijaenda attachment bado niko kazi so it reached a time i told my sister like uh, i need i need i need to to start doing what i love mm. i need i need to get out of my comfort zone and uh, do photography and uh, and uh, tour guiding and i also need I, i also need to do attachment because it is important for the school documentation uh -huh. yes so i started making calls through the social media handle i value instagram sana because that is where nilipata kazi yangu ya kwanza mm -hmm. i started i started with a, a company called touchwell tours and travel so Peter, so let me get it from you uh, straight. So were you freelancing exactly. or, 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 or was it like a job that you approach? Exactly. I started with attachment. Oh, as an attachment. Yes. Uh, as an attachment. As an okay. attachee. Okay. Okay. So I'm in the house making calls to two operators asking them if they could give me a chance for an attachment, you mm -hmm. see. Okay. And then mm -hmm. I make calls to different tour tour companies and they tell me it is still very tough we can't give you a chance mm. so i go to i go to my to my bedroom after making a call to touchwell tours and travel they tell me our company is still not that big but uh, if i hear if i get a chance i'm going to contact you and then i go okay. to my desk and find my camera iko mm. hapo mm. i get mad because iko hapa and inafanya kazi Aina kazi yes inafanya kazi <laughs> gani so i decided I, uh -huh. i decided to call the i decided to call the the tour company again uh -huh. i called uh, madam nancy and told her i could also do photography for your clients you see when you're taking clients to maybe say masai mara uh -huh. they need photos for the for the memories yes yes i yes. could take photos of your clients and do tour guiding at the same time at the same time and she was like okay It was on a, you proposed to her yes it was on a thursday I'll, i i i can't forget that day mm -hmm. it was on a thursday and uh, she told me okay wait a minute i'm going to give you a call mm. after like 30 minutes she called me and uh, told me i have a trip to samburu national park mm. i want you there just come with your gadget and make sure you come very early in the morning so that we have a brief talk How early was 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 that 5:30 in 5 the morning you should be there by 5:30 I was supposed to be in Nairobi on Saturday 5:30 a.m. because it was a, it was an overnight trip mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I had uh, I had to be there before the clients get in so that I could have a briefing with her on how we are going to do things so you see what what I love is uh, mm -hmm. you you managed to you got an idea yeah Now that you have the ability to talk to this person, mm -hmm. you proposed yeah. that I can do this for you. Yes. You don't want you, 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 you do not need to wait for them yeah. to let you know if some if a vacant position <laughs> was there. You created your own position. Yes. That is where it all started. 
because you realize that uh, if you don't talk yourself out mm. no one is no one is going to understand what you have in mind so i had i had to share that idea with her and you see it worked it did yeah so i told her i i i'll do i'll do both photography for your clients and also wildlife photography and do tour guiding for your clients so now now this day came this day um, came um, it's, it's it's not the day of reckoning if, yes. if 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 you mess it up you know they'll never call yes, you again yes this is this is <laughs> this is the chance that you can't waste you have you have to be there whatever happens you have to be there did you have all the equipment you needed it was on a thursday right yeah I needed, supposed to be there by Saturday. I needed lighting. I needed lighting for my camera. Mm. You see the speed light. It's, yes. I needed lighting for that camera. Which you did not have. Which I didn't have at the moment. <laughs> I have already quit work at my sister's place. I had 5,000 in pocket. I came to town. I bought batteries. I also bought a larger memory card for the pictures because I just had a small memory card for... I, had, I just had a small memory card. It could take, let's say, 50 pictures. And you see, I don't want to go there and mess things up. Mm. So I had to buy a mem card that could, that could hold all these pictures. Anything that I'm going to set my eyes on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came back with 100 shillings. 100 shillings. I, I have gadgets in my pocket and I have to be in town that early. So I can't take Matatu. I had to take an Uber. I'm going to meet a person that I've never met before. But Uber can't be 100 shillings. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you see, yeah. it was a bit challenging. So first of all, you have no money. You're meeting someone you've never met before. And it is that early in town. So I talked to my sister about it. And uh, she told me, okay, no problem. I'm going to sort you some cash for the Uber and make sure when you get to town, be safe. Mm. Tell this guy to hold on and until until you meet this person that you are that you're supposed to talk to. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I get to town and uh, it was around uh, it was around 5 525 that's when I got to town. And uh, we were traveling with those overland overland trucks. Mm. So until I set my eyes on that overland truck I had told the guy I'm not getting out of this car. The Uber. Yes. So ni le mambia when you go there Because you are not sure whether you're. I'm going not to sure who I'm going man, to meet. <laughs> yes. Na pia ni town na ni kona vitu zangu hapa. Na ni Nairobi. Na ni Nairobi. So lazima <laughs> I have to. Here ni lisema. Here ni folize. But ani kaiche until until I I see the overland that I'm supposed to travel with. So by around uh, 5:40. Mm. Be around 5.40, Gary Kakuja. And I saw, you see now those stickers that they, they, they put, Palepo mm. Gary. Mm. I saw Touch World Tours and Travel. And, uh, That's when your heart was like, yes. thank now, God. I think it's legit. This, this is legit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nika Ingia, and yeah. uh, I met the lady, Wakiwa na an organizer, Wake Hapo, a deep uh, conversation we had in the morning before the clients started coming in. And uh, we took off. And that's how your, tra your, your, your travel photography journey started. That is how it started. You're still with them? No. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Liz, Liz um, bring them up now. Uh, uh, we, we went snooping a bit mm -hmm. Yeah, through your page. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we will bring them up as, as, as you continue. Bring them up now, Liz, to turn it to Konagani. Uh, let us know. Uh, take a look at them there. You only... Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was... Uh, what, what are you laughing about, about this? What is funny about uh, it? <laughs> that lady, uh, we went uh, at Camp. We uh, went at Camp Ndunda. Uh -huh. You know Camp Ndunda? You know, I don't travel much, but... You should. I should. Yes. We Where traveled with that lady at Camp Ndunda. Is it Embo? Embo. Embo. Okay. Yeah. So she had booked with a company called uh, Jovin Safaris. Uh huh. And uh, so you you see, I told you ladies love photos. Yeah. So every moment they see camera iko hapa, they want pictures. Pick so Apple to look to Miss Mama <laughs> stop over for breakfast. Ah. Yes. That's where I took that photo. 
And you loved it. Yeah, it, it is. You're also, you're also loving it. It looks good. Yeah. yeah. And this? Ah, that's a picture I took uh, in uh, Nairobi National Park. I saw this photo and I loved it. Yeah. How, how, did you get to this? So what, how what we did, you? <laughs> what we did um, we were just driving across. Uh -huh. And I had taken, I had taken clients uh, with a company called uh, Safari Update Travels. Uh -huh. So when we, were, we were, when we were just driving around, that uh, rhino came came around and uh, I told the driver just just stop for a bit because you your life ma no I had a zoom lens it was wow. like uh, three let me say 100 meters away 100 meters to me that is so close <laughs> no it's this, not this, this, so this we waited we uh, waited as it was coming as uh, it was coming to cross the road and it, it was walking straight ahead of ahead of you no it was it was grazing Okay. As in Akuja. So okay. you just, you know, you just have to time and capture that moment. So I took that picture in uh, Nairobi National Park. That was uh, in January. Wow. Yes. These are things you only see on Najio. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you and, edit huh? that one. Uh, and, 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 and before you come to this, mm -hmm. I, I, I love this photo. Let, let's go back to the rhino, Liz. Uh -huh. uh, remove the captions there. There's something that I've seen uh, uh -huh. at the bottom of that photo. Is that yes. your logo? Yes. That is my logo now. But that is not the logo that I made back then. Well, you know, you have, you, have to make, you have to change. You get it? If you can look at the photos that I've been taking previously, they have a very, a very, tiny, a very tiny watermark with the lion. With uh -huh. the lion and then you're going to Peter King's photography. Okay. Yeah, but this this logo I made it, it like uh, I made it a month ago. A month ago. Yes. Let's say a month ago. I think photographers need to brand themselves. It is That's very one, important. One important thing I'm realizing. It is today. very important. Ah, huh? please, don't you you're the next one. I I saw was it a sunset or sunrise? Yes, that was a sunset photo. That one I'd, I took in Amboseli. I'm seeing an animal there. Now you That's an elephant. That's an elephant. Yes. You know, Amboseli is the land of the giant elephants. So you yeah. spot them everywhere. So we were just from our game drive. And when we were going back to the camp, I saw, I saw, that, I saw that elephant. Again, I told the driver, Nikanyagi Kidogo. I took that photo. How many photos did you take for you to get this perspective? I took shots? I took like twenty pictures. Because you know the camera you have to set the lighting and stuff. Everything. Huh. So unapata some time you may overexpose. Mari me kwagiza sana. So lazima upige mingi so that at least you pick the one that it's yeah, a bit pleasing. This is so specific. I can see the dust, I can see the exactly the, the, the elephant, that's the tail. Mm -hmm. It's like it's walking or grazing. I don't know what it's doing. I think it's walking. Yes, it was crossing around. So the aim was to get every detail on that photo. Including this, so that you don't In, get an overexposure. The sunlight, you, the you sun. see, when you overexpose, you're not, get, you're not going to get there. You're not going to get the elephant. Yeah. Yeah. You said, at, at, at what time was that? The, the, around uh, around uh, 6.30. 6.30? Around, around 6.00. Yes, roughly around there. PM. Yes. Gioni to to kitoka game drive. And this ah. people zoom in amo le karebi ezi wanyama. This one is this one I took at Old Jogi. Eh. Hey. You know ni kitu tu ina drive you have to do things. No na kama vile wewe you are here you are doing what you love. So ah. you have to put the best. Yeah. Yes. So for me with photography and wildlife photography this is something that I don't need. I don't need anything to drive me to it. So this was this one I took uh, in Old Jogi, Old Jogi Conservancy. Uh -huh. So these are tamed. These are tamed elephants. Nizile is an orphanage. You get? Oh, they're not wild. Yeah, these ones are not wild, but you can't get too close. Mnyama ni mnyama tu. Mnyama ni mnyama. I love what you said there. Yeah. Mnyama ni mnyama. Yeah, mnyama ni mnyama tu. Yeah, that's a bird I took uh, at Lake Naivasha. How? 
So people will zoom in pia. Hiyo ni zoom in pia. We were, we were just from the boat ride. Ah. When we were just coming back from that uh, crescent island. There was a time I wanted to take a photograph of some birds. Uh -huh. But now I had to move closer. But I always mess it up because they always fly away. I think it's all about persistency. Uh. And uh, identifying exactly what you want to take. So for this, mm. you know, your sound, your boat, ikikuja, itahepa. Yeah. And funny enough, something with uh, wildlife photography, you don't see kama vile unambianga mtu pause upige. Lazima upige continuous shots. Because uh -huh. utapiga zingine, you find mm. them, they are shaky. Unona? So you have blurry. To, yes. You have to take continuous shots. And from a distance. So you zoom out, and then unapiga uki zoom in. Because the moment unakaribia tena, mnyama asha hepa. Then you must have different types of lenses. Exactly. You need to have zoom lenses, you need to have prime lens, you, have, you need to have kit lens to serve the exact purpose. You, you lost me there, but it's okay. Okay. Zoom lens, prime lens, <laughs> zoom lens. lens, you need... You know, you know ah. zoom lens helps you get pictures from a distance. You get... Same like uh, a bird or an animal is at a far distance. Ah, kuna hii picha imekuja hapa hivi. I, did I mention I also do wedding photography? You did not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not. This, uh, this picture I took uh, in Nakuru. There's, a friend, there's a friend of, you know, my, my home place is Nakuru. Ah, so okay. friends from home mm. have come to realize what I do. And uh, a friend of mine told me, I have, I, have, I have a friend of mine who is doing a wedding. Can I can I propose you you shoot you shoot their wedding I, and I told them yeah I wouldn't mind so mm. I got in I got in touch with the with the man and uh, we we signed a contract na to kafanya it it turned out to be so good it was a very big move for me by the let, way. let me ask you this this is just as a by the way uh -huh. yeah I, I, I just by the way mm -hmm. don't mind me okay. in weddings there are these funny photographers uh -huh. my goodness. Maras you wanna come up and and upon a mti maras you wanna fire nini and 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 they give you different funny styles to pose. How how should wedding photography be 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 done? Mto mto picha mara ana lala chini. You know, but at the, the end the of the photos best na kuya mbai. No, at the at the end of the day, unajua kuna mtu na fanya. It's at the end of the day that perfect shot. Lazima uipate. You know. So ukiona ukikaa hivi kuna light nyuma hmm. na it affect picha unataka kupiga lazima mtu atalala chini sio sarakasi sio sarakasi <laughs> I'm telling you ukiona photographer analala chini uh. kuna kitu imefanya alale chini ukiona ameinama pande hii mgumoji iko juu kuna kitu imefanya aka hivi <laughs> because every everything and then you know there there is that uh, that perspective of uh, taking a picture and uh, bringing the attention to that exact thing. Mm. Like if I want to take a picture of you, I, I'll have to remove the I'll have to remove the distractions. Lazima ukua at the center of the picture. You have to be bright. You have to attract the attention of the picture. So kuna hiyo kuondoa kuondoa sasa kama watu. You see wedding iko na watu wengi. So you have kama ni bride unataka, you have to make sure umempata yeye peke yake. Do, do you have like those people that, um, <clears throat> of course you do. Mm -hmm. The people that have managed to, you know, back you up. Yeah. You know, who, who are just uh, some of those people that have been your pillars yeah. and, and have molded you and, have, and, and of course have helped to, to make you the person that you are today to the point that now you're proud of the work you're doing and we're having this conversation today. Yeah. First, I would like to thank my mom. Son, she has been motivating me every day to do better, talking to me every day. You know, my son, you have to do better. Mm. Your future depends on what you're doing. And hakuna, uh, hakuna kurudi nyuma. And uh, again, I'd like to thank my sister. Tulaishi She's called Anne.
yeye ndiye alinishikilia mkono by the time ile wakati nilikuwa namaliza shule yeah na kwambia mimi nilikuwa nimesema heri nifanye mjengo but you see that that chance that she gave me mm. because aliniambia you come come work for me i told her sasa nitakuwa ninatoka kimbo na kuja job kayole and she was like uh, no come mm. i'm going to host you mm. you know that that statement watu mmemaliza shule they are going back home they have nothing to do mm-hmm. and nimekwambia new time corona was very tough yeah, yeah. so most of my friends were going back home because at attachment hakuna papers hazijakuja so you have no option mzazi hata kulipia nyumba na umemaliza shule so my sister told me come nitakupatia kazi and i'm also going to host you i'm going to give you accommodation and i'll be paying you so that was that was a very a very great gesture that she gave to me and she has mm. been motivating me to do better every day supporting me financially uh, because when i started when i started money was not coming i used to take people pictures for free because now when you are when you're trying mm. to attract these two operators you have uh, you have to show them a catalog of the work that you've been doing ndio mtu akikuwa trust your clients what are you going to deliver you see so i used to work kutoka kule maybe sometimes sana nipatia fair i go mpaka kimbo you know now most of my friends walikuwa kimbo so i'm i've just shifted to another place so kule sina marafiki na season nikaenda tu nikapiga na kwa just when she does ndio Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's an issue. They've you been, can't just go been. taking people pictures. So I had to take pictures of my friends. Unajua kuna wale they are going to appreciate and give you something. Mm. You get. But mimi nilikuwa napiga marafiki zangu picha. Now I care what amaka hapo. Kubwa. What amaka ilikuwa hata kubwa kuliko picha yao. <laughs> For marketing purposes. Because you know, yeah. at all they are going they are enjoying having that picture imepigwa na camera. Na wengine pia hiyo logo yao hata ukiweka kwa picha they crop it out. Yeah, exactly. So nilikuwa naiyakanga hapa. <laughs> kwa shingo ya. Yes. Nilikuwa nganaiyeka hapa. So that data yeah. ukate. Kuna hata kama ni pi itatokea, ni sawa. But you see at that time I wasn't charging them. I needed the pictures for my catalog. I want us to take a to look at the a few, just to mention a few challenges that you faced th- throughout the journey because um, I love the fact that yes you've mentioned some even as we've been talking yeah. um, but just some of the other that maybe you've, you, we, 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 we might have uh, left out in terms of challenges you faced mm-hmm. in this journey of uh, travel photography mm. so first of all i'd say uh, selling selling yourself to the public and uh, getting to a point where you the the work is finding you okay kwa nyumba it's quite challenging because uh, as i had told you it's it comes with more of marketing the little money that you get you you put it back to mm. selling yourself yeah yeah so yeah. you you do more of uh, traveling unafanya pesa tu kidogo ile unapata unarudisha unarudi tu unarudi kwa field tena mm. i started printing my business card just one month after nimeanza kufanya photography So I had a guy who was designing those posters for me. Mm. Wedding photography, travel photography, graduation ceremonies, and you know you, you have to pay this person. So unapata challenge sana sana inakuja <coughs> financially because uh, you need you need to use money to get money. And you can't always depend on your sister. Exactly. Because you you are able to own unafanya kitu pia. Yes. Lazima everything that you get you try to minimize your expenses because uko kwake umeacha kazi you know nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwake umeacha kazi so now you have shown that you can work on yourself so you have to prove that mm-hmm. yeah wow wow uh, i want to just a uh, look at a few more photographs uh, that are there Liz, ume, ume, do you have others that you can uh, that are ready let's bring them up And of course as we talk about this remember this is on his own Instagram page. Yeah. That's at Peter underscore Kings 001. See you. Yes. You ni uh that was know. yeah. That, that was a, a private shoot mm. a lady had booked. Yeah. 
that's a, a lady anaitwa Dr. Esther. So tulikuwa tume travel na yeye. Mm. I can't remember that what company we traveled with. Mm. Because you see when you travel with these people they are the people who come to bring business mm. badai. Mm. Okay, ukiwapiga okay, picha vizuri pale wakati you have gone for safaris. They called you now later for their events. So she had booked an event. She had booked a, a session with me. I took her to Aboretum. You know Aboretum? Yeah, yeah. Nicole mempeleka huko. Hapo nipo tulifanya this shoot. Mm. Yes. Ilikuwa Hapo hapo ni Aboretum. Yes, this is Aboretum. You might think it's somewhere in the US, man. Hapa ni Aboretum. <laughs> Tulikuwa tumeenda kufanya shoot ya familia yake. So that's that's mm. his son. That that's a son. All right. Another one list. Uh Una <laughs> unani. Nani huyo? <laughs> that's me. <laughs> this one uh, Apa, uh, uh, You know as a photographer when you travel, mm. unatoka hapa unaenda mpaka Malindi and you don't get any picture of yourself. So luckily, mm. uh, a person tulikuwa tume travel na yeye he had interest in photography pia so kanambia okay sasa wewe umeshindwa kitupiga picha so let me take you one so nikamwambia okay let me set it for you and then uh, nikupige no. so this one is, this one was in oljogi just uh, two weeks ago all right yeah aha uh-huh. okay okay and and and, and, and this that white is that a parrot yes that's a parrot they have a parrot there okay yeah <laughs> so you You, you talked to it uh, the guide was talking the, to it naambia jump jump uh, it's quite an interesting place ah yeah it's a good place okay yeah. <laughs> all right um so so uh, do you have any other leads uh, uh, b- b- before to malize hapo hivyo matu ama tuachie hapo all right uh all right uh, l- let's leave it at that point okay. and of course i want to uh, us talk about you started this journey during that time of covid-19 exactly How is it now post covid uh, especially when 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 now you know businesses are now coming back mm-hmm. you know people are now, people are now coming back to travel yeah. how has it been so far uh, i'd say the journey has been uh, good mm-hmm. because uh, at, at that moment i used to, to do more of uh, finding as in you make calls till the last minute you see you have you have to talk to these two operators from monday to thursday Mm. you get you keep on asking them you you keep on asking them can i do photography for you can i do photography for you mm. you see mpaka inafika mali anakwambia you know i have i have a contracted photographer so maybe you just fill in when he's not there but are Una... they always unavailable of course mtu ni kazi yake so lazima ataye anajituma mm. so you could find most of the time when i finished attachment i stayed for a whole month bila kazi i was just in the house just kuuliza tu naambiwa hapana tungoje next time tungoje next time but na wewe ile umepata you make sure that person is going to call you for the mm. next one yeah yeah so i've been able to link up with more of them right now mm-hmm. so i've reached a point where by um i could even have someone to work with me whereby i would uh, if if we come to an agreement with some of them mm. i can uh, i've started maybe training some some of the people while ah. they have interest in so you're, you're also getting your own people who are yes, working with exactly. you exactly you see you. most of the time most of the time unapata everywhere you travel to you meet mm. new people you meet new photographers you see and as long as you're marketing yourself utapata kuna kazi utapata every time you're marketing yourself you might not see you might not see ikileta at that mm. particular time mm-hmm. but business comes business does if come if you put work in it mm-hmm. now, yeah. now for for many young people or many youths we have this particular problem of financial management how have mm-hmm. you fought it I, i'd say i'd say that is something that i really i don't know mali litoka <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, i don't play with my money You don't play with your money. I don't. The little cash that I get, I try as much as possible to make good use of it. Lakini si ile ya kujinyima. You get? Mm. Kuna yule mtu akona pesa but pia yeye mwenyewe hataki kujispendia. 
But you see, kila mtu anapenda nyama, kila mtu anapenda chicken nini, but you know, you can't mm. just every every coin that you get, you can't mm. just spend. Sana sana wanawake wanapenda chicken nini. Yeah. Huh? You can't ukiang- ukiangalia yeah. mwana, ama Peter Njoroge. <laughs> photographer yes. travels you Travel need photographer you know kana na usiju mzungu mgani flala ladies will be after after your money man yeah sure but uh, it's just how you you manage yourself uh. the kind of relationship you have with people you know and uh, peer financial discipline comes with i think it's more of where you come from and where okay. you want to be your background yes you know me i come from a very humble background Mm. So it's more of uh, the life that I've lived and mahali you, you would not like to waste. I wouldn't it wasn't bad. I wouldn't say it was bad, but my mom used to tell me that unaona vile nimekulea make sure mtoto wako umemlea vizuri kuliko vile nimekulea. So the thought of that in my mind makes mm. me do better every day because I want my kid to learn at a better environment at a better school than the one I went to. You know travel requires a very responsible person. Also. Very responsible person because sasa uko hapa you are traveling to Masai Mara with clients. So hao ni watu wako na pesa. You get? Na wewe uko kazi. So ujenda hapo raha, ujenda hapo play, ujenda hapo leisure. Mm. And stop poor ile wanaenda nyama choma. Na kuna ma drinks nini? Eh? Huh? It is very challenging, I'd say. But you know ah. Unatoka kwa nyumba umekula vizuri. Sisi tangu ananipikia vizuri. Hata kama mwili ilikataa. <laughs> you eat very well in the morning. And uh, so that you you avoid spending any hourly, you know. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I love what you're doing, Peter. Thank you. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And 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 uh, I know opportunities are going to be there even then. Yeah, sure. Shall come. Pole pole too. Pole, you pole, know, pole. you just have to put work in it in everything that you do mm. you just have to put work in it if somebody wants to get a hold of you yeah. how can they do that? How, how how can they do so and uh, uh, mm-hmm. also let, let, let them know where they can find you on social media yeah that's your camera there okay talk to your people uh, social media handles you can find me at peter underscore kings 001 that was uh, that was initially my personal account which i came to change equaya yakazi for travel photography mm. and then now i opened another instagram account which is now peter kings photography okay. now he near easy private shoots because you know you don't travel every day mm. you travel mostly during the weekends so you've got two instagram. i got two instagram accounts one is one is for travel mm-hmm. and one is for shoots sasa easy private shoots the one we, we were looking the at. one was for travel photography travel yes that is at peter underscore kings 001 uh-huh. and then now i have iko tu hapa kwa bio mm. peter underscore kings photography uh-huh. sasa hiyo ni ile ya uh, shoots hizi sasa za weekdays you, you see now okay. after traveling how our clients while we travel now ama mm. all these other clients that you get later on they book sessions with you during mm. the weekdays mm. so easy picture zao zile haziko hiyo haina picha yangu you can't find any of my photo oh hiyo sasa ni ya clients peke yake okay So that one is Peter underscore Kings Photography. Mm. Yes, I also have a contact. Ile mm-hmm. you can call me if you want to book a session with me or maybe even two operators when they want to book me for travel photography. Yeah. I have a, a business number mm-hmm. which is also works with WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. That is 0798598212. Sema tena. Pole pole. Pesa itaki kelele. Itaki haraka. So my contact is 0798 uh-huh. 598 212. One more time. 0798 598 That's my WhatsApp number. All right. Yes. They should holla at your yes. boy. Facebook is at Peter Kings. My brother. Yeah. I appreciate your presence. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And uh, maybe would you like to have a final word talk to that youth that is watching you today? What would, <laughs> would you like to tell them? uh to the youths i'd like to tell them uh, i understand we all we all want to achieve mm. you know we all want to live that good life and uh, you see most of most of the people are telling us you live work with your passion you get mm. but uh, this is something that uh, that most people don't see 
pia kwa hiyo passion you have to work yeah. lazima uifanyie kazi mm-hmm. if you love mm-hmm. doing photography mm-hmm. you have to work lazima you do more of photography yeah. if you are a journalist unapenda kufanya journalist yes but you know you have to you have to put effort in it mm-hmm. and uh, financial discipline tujaribu tujaribu to just live within your limits thank you so much peter yeah. thank you so much peter that, that is peter jaroge thank you so much peter for coming he is a travel photographer i appreciate your presence and as i said earlier on i wish you the best thank you thank you very much thank you so much thank for, you for having me asante yeah asante sana then we are to the end of this morning conversation right here on why in the morning right here on, it was all about barras concerning travel photography we have been taking a look at the story of peter jaroge Are you inspired? Are you motivated? Are you, do you feel challenged? Do you feel like you know you need to turn something around here left right center? Do you feel like you need to change one or two things? Let us know. Keep talking to us. The hashtag is why in the morning. Tag me at Ram Agukoma. That is my handle and the official station handle is at Y254 channel. We are taking a short break. We'll be back with more right here on Why in the morning. My name is Ram Aguko. It has been a pleasure.